Welcome to day number nine of Learn Fusion 360 in 30 days. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to 3D model an LED light bulb. You'll learn how to create a sphere, and we'll take another look at using the chamfer tool and the thread tool. We'll start off by making sure that our document settings are set to millimeters. If they're not, you can always click on this icon here and select millimeters from the drop down list. Then, I'll activate the cylinder feature from the Create drop-down menu. I'll click on the top plane, click on the center origin, drag out with my mouse, and type in 30 millimeters for the width. Next, I'll go ahead and drag the arrow up, or type in 40 millimeters for the height, and I'll click OK to exit the cylinder feature. Now that we have the stem of our bulb, we'll use the sphere tool to create the top. But first, I'll hit letter L, the keyboard shortcut for line, to create a construction line on the XY plane. I'll click on the top of the cylinder and draw the line up 20 millimeters. Making sure the line selected, I'll hit letter X, the keyboard shortcut that turns a line into a construction line. Now I'm turning this into a construction line because I'm only going to use it for reference purposes. Now I'll go ahead and activate the sphere tool from the create drop-down menu and I'll click on the endpoint of the construction line. I'll type in 61 millimeters for the width of the sphere and then I'll make sure the operation is set to join. Now to show the difference in bodies here, I'll right click on the bulb part and click on appearances. Now the bulb I'm modeling is off a newer LED bulb so the top here is made out of plastic. I'll drag a white glossy plastic on top and then I'll hit the escape key to exit the appearances feature. At this point, we'll want to add a nice taper connecting the bulb and the cylinder here. I'll select the line in the middle here and then I'll hit letter F, the keyboard shortcut for the fillet modify command. After activating the fillet command, I'll punch in 45 millimeters and click OK on the fillet dialog box. I'll hit letter F for fill it once again, and this time I'll select the bottom of the stem. I'm going to add a fillet of 4 millimeters before creating the thread on the bottom here. Now to create the threaded area on the bottom, I'll activate the cylinder feature from the create drop-down menu and select the bottom plane here. I'll click the center origin and drag my mouse out until it connects to 22 millimeters. Before exiting the cylinder dialog box, I'll change the height to 15 millimeters and make sure that the operation is set to new body. Now to add the thread, we'll select thread from the create dropdown menu. I'll click modeled so we can see what we're doing here and I'll select the thread type to take a look at the presets. Now in the US where I'm located, the standard thread for light bulbs is ES, which is short for Edison screw. I'll select ANSI metric M profile for the thread type. Then I'll select M22 times three for the designation. I'll uncheck full length and I'll add an offset of three millimeters. Now the reason I added an offset is because we'll want to add a chamfer to the end of the thread. So I'll click OK to exit the thread command. At this point, I want to add a chamfer to the bottom here. I'll select chamfer from the modify drop-down menu, and I'll select the bottom of the cylinder. Then I'll type in five millimeters before clicking OK to exit the command. Now I'll also add a fillet on the top of this chamfer to give it a nice smooth edge. To add the fillet, I'll hit letter F once again, and then I'll select this line and type in two millimeters. The last thing we need to do is add the electrical foot contact onto the bottom of the bolt. I'll use the cylinder feature once again, this time clicking the center origin and dragging out until it snaps to just over 10 millimeters. I'll go up two millimeters for the distance and I'll click OK to exit the command. Now I'll activate the chamfer tool once again and I'll add a chamfer of two millimeters to the electrical foot contact. And based on the bulb I'm looking at, this could be rounded a bit more. 
I'll edit the fillet by double clicking on it in the timeline, and I'll change this fillet to five millimeters. Lastly, I can right click on the bulb and select appearances. I'll simply find a plastic appearance for the middle part, and I'll drag and drop an aluminum appearance for the threaded bottom. Thanks for watching. Please hit the thumbs up button below if you learned something in this video and click subscribe to be notified of the next video where I'll show you how to 3D model an iPhone X phone case.